Hello and welcome to another episode of Free Tag Team. We are the guys that are building a complete system for democratizing situational awareness. And if you know, don't know what I'm talking about, please watch the other videos in this channel. So today uh, we have a very important thing to present to you because we are going to release 199. 109 is going to be the last version of the one family that we started two years ago and is going to be a long-term support version and the reason is that we will need time to focus on the new freetag server and freetag hub system that will provide you additional features but for certain categories of users probably 199 will be good enough because it will be lightweight. So in order to discuss what we have done, let's look at the architecture of 199 and what we have done that is new and different. So 119 has a series of components that can be installed separately or you can install with the zero touch deployment. And zero touch deployment is what we are going to use today. And zero touch deployment means that we are going to use a single line of code to install and configure all these different parts. Let's uh, look at them. So we have the video service that is based on the simple RTSP uh, server, a very nice software. And then we have a free tag hub that is based on not red and contains the integration between the video service and the FreeTag server. Then we have the web UI here that will allow you to uh, interact with all those components. The web map that is a mini client that show which users are connected and what they are sharing. And the new in this version is the Mambo server that provide voice capability to the whole system. So today we are going to install all of that by using the single um, a touch or zero touch uh, deployment script and then we'll see how to configure the Mambo server that is our new uh, system in town and also how we can configure the clients uh, and the different client for Android and for Windows and how we can install the new plugin that we have created for you guys uh, that allow you to use uh, push to talk uh, inside ADAC. So we will start with the installer and all we need to do is to copy and pass this line of code and that is going to be in uh, the description of this video like uh, all the relevant links that will allow you to repeat what I'm doing here. Uh, previously to uh, be able to pass this line uh, clearly we need to have a machine and this machine is need to be a Ubuntu 20.04 server. This is what we test. Uh, we have also a version that works with uh, the Raspberry Pi and we have installed it uh, by using the uh, zero touch in the Raspberry Pi. You can install it also in order Unixes by using this system. You cannot not use the zero touch system to install under Windows or complete different operating system. So if you are experienced, um, you may also want to have complete control. So we have another version of this uh, zero touch that will allow you to decide which components uh, you have to install. You see, you can, for example, decide that you don't need a voice server or you don't need a video server and instruct the in, uh, installer to do that. But um, for now, what we are doing is to install everything and it's taking a little bit, but basically uh, it takes away all the difficulties to install the right libraries and configure all those connections so that you have a very, very uh, easy installation experience and you can immediately start with that. 
So because it will take more or less five minutes, I will fast forward and restart at the end of the installation. Okay, we have finished successful our script. As you can see, at the end of the zero touch, you get a nice report. And so everything is green. Change it means that some of the libraries that has been updated were uh, on already on the operating system. And skipped means that because they were already in the operating system with the correct version, have been simply skipped. So the script has done uh, nothing to change that. So that is the end of our installation. One very important thing to notice is that you need to scroll up and take note of all these different lines and that will give you the information how to access to your system. For example, this is how I can access to my UI and I can copy it and if I pass it into a browser, I will be uh, seeing my uh, web UI. So you can see this is our IP and we can log in with admin and password. You should immediately change this so that is secure. And the first time that you load the UI, it will take a little bit uh, to check out all the services. And you may see that SSL is red. That is a normal uh, problem and will go blue, meaning it works after a while. We will check here the web map to see if it's installed and working. As you can see, it's here. And if we go back in the meanwhile, so SSL should be uh, now up and running. Another thing that we want to do is to check out that a client is working. And so that is a WinTuck here. And you can see that WinTuck is connected to our um, new server. So that is the IP of our server. And we can also create a new user and connect by using SSL. Uh, right now it is not working because that is a old package. So we have demonstrated that in all the videos. We are not going to demonstrate it right now. So let's go to the real new part that is related to uh, Mumble. So we have shown how you can um, install the whole thing and now what we want to show you is how we can um, create and use the murmur server that is the so-called voice server let's go for it so the main page of uh, mumble project is here and that is where you can also download the clients and uh, we have already done it to save some time and we have downloaded here the Windows client. And now we want to connect to that client. So this is the Windows client for Mumble. And you can see that all you need to insert is a uh, IP and the standard port of the service plus some username and some label to name the test. The standard info, uh, installation of uh, the Zero Touch is not taking care of the full configuration, including the fact that you should uh, set a password for users. What it does is setting a password for the super user, and that is extremely important. So you need to know this password so that you can <coughs> uh, command your server. And if you forget it, uh, then you are going to be a little bit in trouble because you need to uh, retrieve it. So at the end of the installation, uh, you will see that uh, we have all this information, including the password for the super user here. So you can log in with the super user and this password, and that is a generated password. 
so it's not going to be the same for different installations. So here we can connect to our test server and after a little bit uh, we will be presented with this information that the certificate is uh, different from the one that we have stored. This is why we have just reinstalled it. So we'll say yes, we trust it. And here I am connected with my server. The next thing that we want to do is to connect also a Android client uh, to the same server. And that is where we need to introduce uh, something called the Moomla client for Android. So we are going to install the Moomla client for Android and then we are going to install on the top of that the plugin so that we can use the Moomla client directly into uh, ADAC. So to install Moomla you can go on a, a Play a Store for Google and look for Moomla Voice over IP and then click install as you can see i have already installed it you can also install the paid version that will provide the uh, uh, developer with some funds to continue to develop this fine uh, application <clears throat> but that is a standard android application and will be installed uh, as you install any other application so i'm not going to spend so much on that but we need also to install the special plugin that we have created for uh, using Moomla inside ATTAC. So let's go for it. So the uh, ATTAC plugin for the Mumble uh, push to talk system is available under FreeTAC team on GitHub, FreeTAC Moomla plugin. And what you need to do is to download a local copy on your machine. And that is something that I have already done. Clearly you can do that on the phone, but today we are going to introduce a, um, a feature that recently came into WinTech and that is very, very useful to manage your uh, attack installation, especially if you have multiple phones like we do at the FreeTAC team. So when you open WinTech, this is the current version for five, you may have noticed a new icon called Attack Manager and here uh, we can create dev device profiles. <clears throat> what I've done here, I have created a profile for Attack 4.5 or Attack 5 and that contains uh, different things and as you can see I have here uh, the APK of all the plugins that I want to install including or a uh, new um, plugin for Mumble, that is this one. Clearly, if you want, only want to install one, you can create a single um, installation file with only the APK. But as you can see, <coughs> this system is really nice because it allows you to create a certain configuration and then to push to several devices. As soon as you have finished that, what you need to do is to connect your phone by using a USB cable. Also in that phone, you need to have enable uh, the developer options, but I will not explain how to do that in this video. And then simply click export and export to device. That will install to your device the plugin. And now you are able to use it. So let's go and see how that works. When the plugin is installed, uh, all you will see is here uh, a button and you can press this button and when you press it, you can start uh, to talk to others. However, what is required is that the Moomla uh, application runs in background. So on this phone, as you can see, uh, currently we have also, or we should have Moomla running here and we are connected to the server so that is my windows client corvo and the moomla user is the um the current android device and you see here you have the push to talk that is activated you need to activate it <coughs> by selecting here transmit mode and selecting push to talk 
So if that is configured, so you need to be connected to the server that we just created and to have configured the push to talk, then you can switch to ATTAC. In ATTAC here, we have installed the plugin by using WinTAC and now we can simply talk and we'll see in uh, uh, the voice from here going to the Win server. Hello test, hello test. Let me switch a window so we can see. Okay, I'm now visualizing on the top of my screen my Android and on the bottom here I have the Mumble client and when I press the button on Android you see that I'm talking at Mumla user and I can also talk here and will, the voice will go there. Okay, this concludes our demonstration for today. What we have shown to you is the fact that we have released 199. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that we have tried to fix all the different bugs uh, that were reported. So 119, um, from our point of view, has no well-known bug that need to be, you know, covered. And that is a long... Uh, long time support version that we will support for at least one year from now and we have shown which components are present in the full installation you may decide to install uh, separate components there are different ways to install them you can use the console and install each component separately and um, we have displayed the murmur server and we have shown how you can install a client in Android and a client on Windows and how you can install and configure your new plugin that we have created for you um, by using the WinTAC uh, Attack Manager. So this is all for today. Um, we try to keep our videos very short. Uh, so I'm not going to go in detail of any of that, but if you have any question, please join the conversation on Discord and Reddit and we'll try to address any question or concern you can have. Thank you so much and have fun with your new version of FreeTalk Server.